2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the first stop of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today's coverage of the FedEx St Jude Championship is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course, following our featured group. Hey Luke and Rich, I'm looking forward to treading the fairways again with these two because they were absolute fire the first time round, and I have a feeling that after their exchanges on social media, it'll be even more spicy out here. Yeah, he's going to have some bullets coming his way throughout this entire matchup. Let's see if he can dodge them. Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. The approach into the first at TPC Southman Rich played uphill to a challenging green. Back up the hill ever so slightly. When the pin is on the back portion of the green, it's hard to get it close. But anywhere on the front part of the green, you can get it close and make birdie. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. This putt is 16 feet to the hole. This is their look at birdie. Get excited. This could go in. Appears to have overcooked this one. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. He's currently tied for fifth. The second at TPC Southwind presents the first real birdie chance. Just a short par four playing 401 yards. What a gargantuan tee shot. Great, it just missed the hole. Now, it's not often you come up against Tiger, but he's really proving himself out there today. Putting for birdie here. That's inside the range. Currently one under for the round. Moving up the leaderboard, I like it. The third hole at TPC South wins a strong par five measuring over 550 yards from the back tees. A bit of water comes into play here on the second shot, so be mindful of where you leave your approach. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. Oh, wow. They're thinking of going for this one. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Two big hits there, knocking in on this par five and two. Putting for Eagle here. Looking really good. Right on four feet. Should make this one. This for a birdie, birdie run. Well, good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. The fourth hole here at TPC Southwind is the first par three on the course, and it measures just under 200 yards. Just avoid the penalty area to the left. Looks to be going with the six iron. Hoping for a bounce here, preferably to the left. A sensational shot and a chance for a birdie here on the fourth. Got to like their chances from there. This is tracking right into the front of this cup. Ooh, nice putt to make for a birdie. And with that, we'll move to three under par. And after that hole, he's now alone at the top of the leaderboard. 
The fifth, the TPC Southwind, is a long par four measuring 485 yards. It requires a good strong drive to avoid the bunker on the left and then an accurate approach into this green. That's heading for the fairway. Taking aim from about 220 yards out. He leads the field by a stroke. Opting for the five wood. Oh, right by the hole. Now yeah, that looked pretty good the whole way. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Well, if he holds this, it'll be a solid 19-footer. Get the fist pump ready. This looks like it's going in. Just a short putt remaining here. Now, current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The strategy at the sixth here at TPC Southwind on this par four, measuring just under 450 yards from the tips, is to position your drive from the tee to give a clear shot into this green. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? He's setting up here from about 115 yards. Wow, that drive, incredible stuff. Over 300 yards. Ah. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine -nine. This one needs to kick left and kick left hard. They're not a bad shot, that one. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. If it's up, it could be in. And that's their fourth booty of the day. And that will take him to four under. Still in the lead now after that hole. The seventh at TPC Southwind is a strong par four measuring 482 yards from the back tee. A big clump of trees on the left and the one on the right is to be avoided off the tee. Also, a good angle to attack this green is from the left half of this fairway with a huge greenside tree that also affects any poor approaches. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Setting up here from about 165 yards. Had a fantastic drive. And choosing the eight iron here. Mm. That's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. That would be back-to-back -back birdies for this player. Leading by a shot after that hole. The eighth hole at TPC Southwind is a really nice short par three measuring just 164 yards. This green has been recently contoured, so accuracy or distance control off the tee is paramount. Game of the seven. This is beautiful to watch. Another green in regulation. This is an absolute clinic. A birdie putt awaits. Not sure how that putt came up shy. Wanted to get it up to the hole, but was just unable to up that slope. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. The finishing hole on the front nine here at TPC Southwind plays downhill towards a dogleg right. There's a big body of water, short front left of this green, so make sure you've got enough club to reach the surface. Good shot there. It's a fairway finder for sure. And they're playing from about 140 yards out. Currently in the lead by a shot. Going with the pitching wedge here. This one needs to kick left. 
Oh, lovely looking shot in the birdie range here at the ninth. Good chance to move to six under par here. Surely it's going to. Geez, making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. And that will take him to six under. Here we go, Rich. In the lead, late in the championship. It's exciting. Yeah, no time to start thinking about that lead, Luke. They got to keep their head down and keep going forward. Cannot think about that lead or people will pass them. Second shot here at the 10th. Going with the eight iron here. And the effort, that one. What's in front of them, Henny? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. It's got a chance. Oh, so close. Putting for a par now. Currently in first position. The par 311th at TPC Southwind measures just 162 yards. The looks can be deceiving here. While it looks pretty, it can bite you. Make sure you've got enough club here on approach. Going with the 9 iron, I think. Oh, look at this, right down the throat. Wow, what a shot. An opportunity for a birdie here. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. The par 4 12th is only a short one measuring 406 yards from the tips, but you need to be very accurate off the tee. Avoid that huge water hazard to the right, and that'll give you the best angle into this green. Any drive that's pushed left will make it a difficult approach, and be wary, there's water over the back of this green, which you can't see. Oh, absolutely flushed. Well played, mate. A seven footer right here. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. That's a good putt to make that one. That's back to back birdies. Back to back birdies never hurt, Rich. Kind of like it. He's feeling it. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. The 13th, the TPC Southwind, is a strong par four that plays uphill and a slight dog leg to the right. It requires a big drive up the right half and then a very accurate approach. There's a heavily bunkered green there, so make sure you hit your approach in the right distance. That's tiny. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Now he's eyeing up around 160 here. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Yeah, that one's looking good. High quality shot, that one, right next to the hole. In indefinite range for birdie. Leading by six strokes after that one. The 14th at TPC Southwind is one of their signature holes. The par three that plays downhill considerably long, around 240 yards, is hit over a big body of water to the right. Fortune favours the brave here. If you need a birdie, go flag hunting. Otherwise, lay up to around 20 feet left. Yeah. Not a bad approach. It'll be putting. Well, this will be a bonus. Right on 17 feet from here. Oh, so close, but an easy par. 
Didn't have to sweat that par putt. Currently nine under for the round. Accuracy is required at the par 4 15th, just 395 yards off the tee. Players like to lay back to give them their right number into this green. There's a little creek that meanders through the centre of the fairway here and up to the right side of the green. So make sure your approach is accurate. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? He's got roughly 105 yards here. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. <laughs> Terrific shot into the 15th and a chance for birdie. All these are good putts to make, good for momentum, right on seven feet. And with that putt hold, now double digits under par, minus 10 as we head to the final few holes. And a nice feeling it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch. Our current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. Oh, that's piped. That's heading down the runway. Well, that was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. Huge tee shot there, Luke. What a display of power. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Oh, I guess they're seeing something I'm not. They're going with less club here. Interesting. Well, you can see why he's leading. That was a shot of high caliber. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? The penultimate hole at TPC Southwind is a very strong par four, measuring 490 yards off the back tees. There is a little creek that runs through the centre of the fairway here, but that only catches the biggest of drives. There's two big trees either side that you want to position yourself in the middle of, so then you can hit a clean shot to the green. Two strong shots required to get onto the surface. And even once you're on the green, par isn't assured. Playing this shot from about 170 yards out. And choosing the eight iron here. Oh, that's outstanding. Another great shot by our leader. I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation spot on all day. Awesome. Well played. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. The finishing hole at TPC Southwind is an absolute beauty. There's been some heroic moments like hole out eagles and there's been triple bogeys that have cost championships. Your job is to get the ball safely into the fairway here. If you're not a long driver, don't take on the corner. But if you can, it'll leave you just a short iron in, a chance to seal the victory with a birdie. This shot is about 140 yards out. Chosen the pitching wedge here. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee. And they've done it. It puts a smile on your face to see someone live a lifelong dream. Having to build another basement, Luke. He's racking up the hardware. Well, if you want to go and win the FedEx Cup, that's how you start the process. Go and win one of these playoff events. This is where it pays to perform. FedEx Cup wins, playoff wins, massive accomplishment. Good job. On behalf of Rich Beam, Henny Kuyak, John McCarthy, I'm Luke Elvey saying so long from 2K Sports.